Hey. Yeah, sure, I can show you. What do you want me to teach you first? Mm-hmm, I have one right here. Okay, so the first step is to solve one side. So to solve one side, you want to get a cross in the middle, first of all. So, like this. So now you have this cross. And you also need to make sure that the pieces in the middle match up with the correct colour. Okay, so now you have this cross, you need to solve the corner pieces. So to solve the corner pieces, you can find the piece, for example this one. See it has white and blue and orange, so you know that it should go in this corner because it's in between the blue and the orange. So you can just put that one there. This one is green and red, so it should go here. This one is orange and green, so it should go here. And this one is blue and red, so it should go here. You see? So now you have this side, and you also have the bottom layer solved. You see? Mm -hmm. It's simple, right? Okay, well I'll show you the rest in a second. So, you know how to do the cat's cradle. You know how to do it with two people, but you don't know how to do it by yourself. Okay, well you just start it off like this. So you have this cat's cradle shape. And now when you have this shape, what you want to do is, with your thumbs, you go like under and over and then you drop your other fingers and then you have this diamond shape okay do you see so now you have the diamond shape what you want to do is let go of one hand and you pick it up like this so now you have this shape i think this is called the train tracks you have these two lines okay so now you have these then you take your pinky fingers and you go like this so that you have this cross and now you go like this, and you drop these fingers, and then you pick them up again, and then you go like this, and you see you're back to the diamonds. Do you get it? Do you want me to show you again? Okay, I'll show you again. I'll show you slowly this time. So, do you remember what to do when you have the diamonds? That's right, you drop one piece, and you pick it up like this, okay? So now that you have this, do you remember what to do? Okay, you go like this, and you have this cross. So when you have the cross, then you go like this, and like this, and like this. And now you're back at the diamonds. So when you have the diamonds, then you go like this, then you go like this, then you go like this. And, and you're back to the beginning. You see, it's simple, right? Yeah. No, it's very easy. It's very fun. And then you can go like this. And like this. Then you need to drop these fingers. And then you pick them up again. And then you go like this, and you're back to the diamonds. Mm-hmm. It's fun, right? Okay. Yeah, I'll show you how to do the star. So when you have the star like this, so to open it, you can just open each of the corners, and then you can open it like this. And you have this pentagon shape. So to fold it back from the pentagon to the star, you see in the middle it has this pentagon shape, right? And you're going to keep this smaller pentagon and then you just fold the corners like this. You fold it just like that, okay? And then once you have this shape, then you turn it over and you can fold these points again. So you just fold each point in half. You see? Do you get it? Do you want me to show you again? Okay. So we'll open it up and unfold it. So we have this pentagon shape. Okay. So 
do you remember now? That's right, you just fold it, you fold it just like that, fold it just like that, yeah, it's easy, okay, and now you turn it over, and then you want to fold each point, you fold it in half, so you can fold this one like this, and then you fold this one like this, and this one, and this one, the last one's a little bit tricky, but you can do it, and that's how you fold it. Okay, I'll show you one more time. So, you unfold it, and you can open it up. Like this. Okay? And when you have it like this, you fold it like this. Okay? You can open it. You can open it like this, and you can fold it like this. See, and you have this kind of star. So now you have this shape. So now when you have this shape, then you turn it around and you fold each of the points down the middle, including the last one, which is a little bit tricky. And there you go. That's how you make the star. Okay, good. You want me to show you how to do the middle layer now? Okay, so now that we have the bottom layer and the bottom face, the next step is to solve the middle layer. So to solve the middle layer, it's really simple. You need to find a piece on the top which is in the wrong place. For example, this one. It has green and orange, so it should go here, in between the green and the orange. So you line it up, and then you go like this. and then it ends up in the right place. Do you get it? You want me to show you again? Okay. So um, this piece, for example, this green and red piece. So you line it up. I'll show you slowly. So you go across, up, across, like that. And it ends up in the right place. So you need to do that for all of the pieces which are in the wrong place. For example, this one. See, and then it ends up in the right corner, and the last piece, this one. Okay, see? It's simple, right? Good. So now the final step is to solve the top face. I'll show you that in a second. First of all, I'll show you, you want me to show you how to crochet? Yeah, I can show you. So, you have, I have my wall here. So the first step is to make a magic knot. So to make the magic knot, you wrap it around and you pull it through like this. And it's called a magic knot because you can make it bigger or smaller easily. You see? Okay, so you want to put your hook through the knot and you can tighten it a little bit. Okay, so the first step is to make a chain. So I'll show you how to hold it. You want to wrap it around your finger, and then you put it like this. So to make the chain, you just have to loop it around and pull it through. You just loop it around and pull it through, like so. And you just do this for however many chains your pattern needs, depending on what you're going to make. Okay, so I'll show you again. So you just hook it round and you pull it through the loop. Okay, so now the next stitch, you put your hook back into the chain that you just made. Okay, this is so you put it in like this, and then you can loop it round and pull it through and pull it through again. So I'll show you again. So you put it in the chain, you yarn over and pull through. And again, so you put it in the chain, yarn over and pull through. And again, you put it in chain and pull through. You see? And it makes this little stitch. This is called a single crochet. You see? 
nice and boring. It's really easy. Do you remember what to do now? That's it, you put it in the chain and then you can pull through and then you pull through again. Good. And you end up with this. You end up with this little stitch and you can make this for as many rows as you need. Okay. So I'll show you how to make the final layer now. So first of all, we'll get the top. So you see that on the top, you have a yellow one in the middle, obviously, and you want to get yellow ones in the sides, like across, like we did before. So we already have two of them. So you go like this. So now we have this yellow cross. So now we have this yellow cross, then we want to try to get the corner pieces. So to get the corner pieces, we'll go like this. There we go. So now we have this whole side finished. So now the only thing that we need to solve is this final layer at the top. So now we want to look for a side where the two corner pieces are the same, like this one. You see this one has two greens. So we'll match it up with the greens. And then we go like this. Okay, so now it's nearly solved. You see, we've got this side finished, and this green piece in the middle should be here, this orange piece in the middle should be here, and this red piece in the middle should be all the way around here. So it's going anti-clockwise. So what we'll do is we'll go, we'll move it this way because it's going anti-clockwise. And that's it. You see, it's simple, right? Do you get it? Do you remember how to do it? Good. Okay, well done. I think you learned a lot of new things today. Mm-hmm. You're a very good student. Okay, well done. Thanks. I'll see you next time.